Welcome back to our Med Smarter Lecture Series, where we're taking a smarter approach to preparing future physicians. Before we get started, if you'll take just a quick minute and click that like button, and also subscribe and turn the bell on so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. For the next few videos, we're going to take a deep dive into our gram-positive organisms. So if you'll remember back to our previous video on the gram-positive algorithm, we discussed some antibiotic tests that you can use to help determine which microbacteria we are dealing with. Let's discuss those in a little bit more detail today. So with staphylococci, we can do the novobiosin test. If a organism is resistant to novobiosin, then we're dealing with staph saprophyticus. However, if it is sensitive to novobiosin, then therefore we're dealing with a staphylococci epidermidis. A way that you can remember this is to use the sentence, on the office staff's retreat, there was no stress. So we have staff, meaning that we're dealing with a staphylococci, and we're talking about no for novobiosin, S is for saprophyticus, and the RES is saprophyticus resistant epidermidis sensitive. So you're using those first letters of each individual word to help you remember saprophyticus is resistant, epidermidis is sensitive. On streptococci, we can use optogen to determine whether or not we are dealing with a certain microbacteria. So if a particular microbacteria is resistant to optogen, then that is going to be a strep viridans. Whereas if it is sensitive to optogen, that will be a strep pneumoniae. A way that you can remember this is using overpass, or O-V-R-P-S. So the O is for optogen, the V is for viridans, and that is resistant, and the P is for pneumoniae, and that is sensitive. So optogen, viridans, resistant, pneumoniae, sensitive. We have another test that we can do, and that is the bacitracin test. And if you have a resistance to bacitracin, we're dealing with a group B strep. And if you have a sensitivity to bacitracin, we're dealing with group A strep. The mnemonic to remember this is B bras. So B is for bacitracin, and you have B is resistant, A is sensitive. So bacitracin, B resistant, A Group A is sensitive. Let's continue on with some more tests that we can do for these bacteria. So some bacteria are alpha hemolytic bacteria. What does alpha hemolytic mean? Alpha hemolytic is due to the ability of bacterial colonies to be able to induce hemolysis when they're grown on a particular blood auger. So gram positive cocci will either show a brown or green color without clearing around growth on the blood auger, which is due to them being able to partially hemolyze the blood auger plate. What you're seeing here is a partial oxidation of the hemoglobin causing that change in color. As you see here in this picture, they have taken a alpha hemolytic bacteria and drawn the alpha on a blood auger. So you can see that change in color to that brown green color only where that microbacteria is at. What this indicates to me is that we're dealing with either Streptococcus pneumoniae or Tavirodin streptococci. So how do we determine which one of these we're dealing with? Well, we can go back to our previous test that we've talked about and with Streptococcus pneumoniae, we have catalase negative and optogen sensitive. So the Streptococcus pneumoniae is sensitive to optogen, but it is catalase negative. Whereas our Strep viridans is also catalase negative, but it, however, it is now resistant to optogen tests. If you found this material helpful for your studying, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this video so that more people can benefit from it like you have.